everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to Crocoblock channel. In today's tutorial we will design a checkout page and if you haven't seen our previous videos, you can check a playlist WooCommerce Store from Scratch, where we already learned how to create templates and design product, category and card pages. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to receive notifications. So, the process of designing a checkout page will be similar to the one that I showed in our previous tutorial on how to create a card page. We need to create two templates. The main checkout template is responsible for displaying the main checkout form and the top template displays the top part of the page that includes coupon and login form widgets. To create a template, let's go to Crocoblock, Woo Page Builder. Click on Add New Template. Select Checkout in the drop-down list and name it. Before we start applying the widgets, you can also add a section and a heading if needed. Here are the available Jetwoo Builder widgets and for this first template, we're gonna use only 5 of them. Let's start with Checkout Billing Form. In the Content tab, you can change the heading and create account label. Styling options are very simple and they include only heading, label and input. As for the heading, I will change the text font, set color and add bottom margin. Moving on to the label, the same process here. Typography, then colors and margin if needed. Input has the same options, however, you can also adjust the width of the input field by changing padding. The next widget will be Checkout Additional Form. It might be useful if the customer wants to add some additional information about the order. I will start styling it by deleting the heading and proceeding to the Style tab. Skipping heading, let's open label and set the font and colors. And I'm gonna repeat the same steps with the input. If you want to have square corners of your input field, just set border radius to zero. We can also add shipping form widget in case the customer wants the order to be shipped to a different address. Apply and style the widget, repeating the steps that we did before. To the right column, I'm gonna add Checkout Order Review widget. As you can see, there are only Style and Advanced tabs. Let's start with the Heading and Table Heading. I'm gonna set the font and colors, add bottom margin and padding, and also change the text alignment to left. Table cells have the same options. Finally, proceed to the prices. Lastly, let's add checkout payment widget and style it. Here, the customer can choose the payment method and finally hit the place order button. There is also a message with the link to your website's privacy policy page. If there are no defined payment methods for the customer's region, they will see a notification. Now, it's fully optional, however, I think it would be nice to use Jetrix sticky column here. It's a pretty useful functionality which comes with Jetrix plugin that allows making the column sticky when you scroll the section. Keep in mind that you can use Sticky Column only if you have Jetrix plugin installed. To apply it, edit the column, then open Advanced tab and unfold Jetrix. Toggle it on. Don't forget to click Publish. As you remember, we need two templates for the checkout page, so let's go to the dashboard, Crocoblock, a Woo Page Builder, and let's add one more template. I'm gonna name it Checkout Top. Let's add a heading and a section. At first, I'm gonna apply Checkout Coupon widget and then Checkout Login Form widget. 
Both widgets have options to change the text and style them according to your needs. So the widgets we used in this template won't work properly in the main checkout template. Checkout coupon form, checkout login form and all other Elementor form widgets will work just fine here. On the other hand, other Jetwool Builder checkout widgets won't be displayed correctly in the top template. So make sure you stick to the widgets that I use in this tutorial. Now it's time to assign the templates to the pages. Don't forget to publish your top template and go back to the dashboard, WooCommerce, Settings, Jetwool Builder tab. Scroll the page down to the checkout section. First of all, we need to enable custom checkout. In the checkout template and checkout top template drop-down menus, select the templates that you have created and hit the Save Changes button. Let's check the front end now. Here is the top template that is shown over the main template on the same page. In the next tutorial, we will design Thank You page, so if you want to know what happens when you hit the Please Order button, Make sure you're subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell to receive a notification. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.